Next, we're tracking flying spiders. There are now reports of the so-called Joro spider closer to home. Yeah, Pennsylvania officials were going to confirm a reported sighting in Bucks County. Action News is Maggie Kent live at the Academy of Natural Sciences to help us untangle this web of spider rumors, Maggie. Yeah, Brian, Sarah, the pictures look legitimate, so the state is trying to confirm, yes, that there have been Juro sightings here in the Bucks County area. They are yellow and black, and they are massive. And when they're tiny babies, they can shoot a little web. It can carry them through a gust of wind, even miles. So we're talking about potentially flying spiders in this area. Originally from Asia, now people are saying they're starting to see them around here. Every September and October, there's a new batch of sightings in, in a new state, and then everybody freaks out. University of Georgia researcher Andy Davis gave us an up close and personal look at the yellow and black Juro spider. They filled his backyard in the Peach State. They don't really attack people. They don't, they're not really as as scary as as what it, what. It, you know, what they what they look like. Originally from Asia, the Juro spider first arrived in Georgia about 10 years ago. This species here seems to be really, really good at hitchhiking on cars. And so that's probably why you've got a sighting in Philadelphia right now. Here at home, the Bucks County sightings have been reported to JuraWatch.com, a tracking site. Pennsylvania entomologists are working with the USDA to confirm these sightings. We took a tour inside the Academy of Natural Sciences. That gives you a little bit of the size of a Jura spider, even though this is not a Jura spider, but it's one of the related species. Dr. John Gelhouse, chair of the entomology department and Drexel professor, says the Jura spider is known for parachuting, so to speak. They'll throw out a thread of silk that they produce and the wind catches that and so then they can disperse to a new part. While they aren't harmful to humans, people in Bucks County say they aren't exactly welcome either. I was like, um, no, you can take that back, please. We don't need that. Yeah, a lot of people saying it's a giant nope, but honestly, they do not harm you, though they do create 10 foot webs. So just imagine walking through one of them. <laughs> It's interesting to say the least. They're also very hardy, so they can last through the winters here in Pennsylvania and even further north. north so something to look out for as officials are trying to uh, verify these latest reported sightings. We're live at the Academy of Natural Sciences. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Brian. <laughs> He's hiding, Maggie. It's okay to look now. <laughs> Maggie, thank you.